Good morning, and we welcome everybody on this occasion uh, for signing of this uh, EPA. What do you think of the work? This, uh, this project has taken quite a while. If I'm not mistaken, since 2015, this project was uh, moving a very slow state pace. Initially, it was meant for the uh, National Guard in Hapur, then it was shifted to Jaluki, and now finally back to the National Guard in Hapur. And the uh, project started not from our department, it started from new and renewable energy. And then there was a little bit of combustion, the Department of Power has to take over very reluctantly. Preliminary power purchase agreement was signed in 2017, and then that was called the, the rate fixation. And with the help of our NRC officials who are here today, we finally fixed the rate also. And today, we are going to sign the uh, rather final power purchase agreement. This preliminary is already over. Actually, this project, although the way it has taken, uh, it's very interesting and uh, uh, has undergone so much hiccups. But this is uh, really required in the state also because, as per the uh, energy requirements, there are two factors which are important. The United Nations have uh, 17 sustainable development goals. Out of that, uh, SDG number seven is the affordable and clean energy, where modern, clean, uh, sustainable energy has been provided to all uh, regions, not only developed or developed, underdeveloped uh, areas also. This uh, is one of the requirement monitored by the United Nations. So we have an obligation to fulfill. And based on that, every state are supposed to fulfill and ranking of how far we have progressed in uh, affordable and clean energy is also there. So for a state or a state ranking also, this is important. The other thing is the Department of Power, the Ministry, have an obligation, renewable power obligation, where solar, wind, uh, hydro, those, those uh, obligation is also there. So every state has to fulfill that obligation. So if this project comes up quickly, fulfill that uh, RPO or obligation also. So if this project is important for respect, one is to make United Nations happy and the other is to make the Ministry of Power really happy. So uh, we request you to uh, finish the project quickly. And I think it's important that the scale, you know, it's not only reliant, but it's you know, self-sustainable in that order. And uh, I think it's, it's we are, we've been very lucky that uh, we will be the first company to be executing uh, a product of this scale, 20 megawatts, uh, in the Northeast, and I think it's the first in Nagaland. So I think we are very happy for that. And um, just want to touch base on, uh, I won't go into too much technicalities in general, but um, as Sir was saying, uh, <coughs> A lot of uh, development happening and I think this will be a big start for other industries also to come into the state and for the power development to be happening. Um, I think it's also important that uh, you know we protect the we protect the state uh, states, you know, um, heritage and sanctity and uh, I think renewable is in one aspect where you can meet both and not destroy the environment around you, around around us in general. So, um, coming to the industrial development in, in, in the Ganesh Nagar area um, or uh, you know, the state in general and the growing demand of power, I think, is a small step but in the right direction 
uh, where we think the uh, opportunities in his humongous for the state and for a lot of developers like us. It uh, indeed gives me an immense pleasure to be in this short uh, program, yet historic one. In fact, I have not uh, seen or I have not come across any of uh, PPA or here. But uh, this time I think uh, it's, it's, it's getting done in a very grand and in a very big way. <clears throat> so I'm happy to be a part of uh, this PPA signing uh, program. I've been, I made to understand that the uh, Hello Energy Private Limited <clears throat> has been foreseen to come up with the project uh, of project, solar project capacity of uh, 20 megawatt and it's been quite some time and you've been uh, shifting from place to place and finally now that you have re-located your <coughs> uh, project place in Ganesh Nagar so and I'm also been told that the industrial commerce <coughs> has already uh, missed out of about 100 acres for the, this particular project. Uh, you saw must be in uh, many years of uh, this that I don't know, but we give me five years. <coughs> so here, I want to thank the department concerned also for, you know, missing uh, out the end for a very meaningful and purposeful project. You see, um, as uh, our MD Hello Energy has already highlighted that power, the power, energy, gas, these are very important, uh, uh, very, very important component, all the elements for any state or for any nation. Nagaland, <coughs> we have a very few generating stations, projects in Nagaland owned by the by the government and there are few owned by the private companies but for the first time in Nagaland uh, the solar energy or solar generating uh, renewable uh, energy is happening for the first time in Nagaland with this 20 megawatt capacity <coughs> so we are, we are very happy <coughs> We do have uh, projects at hand, which is uh, actually in the final stage, the hydro projects. Uh, the eco-hydro project is of 24 megawatt. Lower diesel is of uh, 42 megawatt. So these are, on, these are uh, just about to get, uh, about to get matured. In the final thing. Why I'm happy is we will the 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 projects that certain projects that we're going to have very soon <coughs> will reflect in the generating map of uh, our generating map of India. Mm. But we have very little, very slowly, gradually we will have more capacity. There was a long pending uh, project of the uh, coup, the coup project, which is of 186 megawatt. But because of all these uh, uh, disturbances, land issues, and all, uh, it has been kept uh, like that for so long. But finally, that all those problems have also been resolved. So Nagaland soon will have our own generation <coughs> capacity of. Uh, more than, uh, you know, uh, 300, 400 uh, megawatt in the near future. So taking this advantage, <coughs> I want to urge the Hello Energy Private Limited to complete your project on time. Whatever specification has been you know, given to you, about 10 months, 12 months, 14 months, whatever time is given to you, we want to see that you complete uh, the, the whole project on time. And this project, I'm sure 
a uh, lot of our skilled and unskilled uh, employed men will also ha happen uh, recruitment. So keeping all those uh, in mind, I'm so very happy because something new is happening in Nagaland and we want to really uh, congratulate this. Over the last few years, I've also seen that our young entrepreneurs in who are actually focusing on the power sectors, you know, coming up with different uh, projects, they are they are pursuing uh, uh, generating uh, projects like uh, biomass, you know, then thermal, then hydro projects, and even the the solar solar projects. So I'm happy. A lot of uh, uh, young entrepreneurs should uh, come forward to develop the power, the generation of power, uh, power, power infrastructure development. So, taking this time, I want to thank all of you, and uh, uh, I'm sure our today's uh, uh, PPS signing, the final, uh, this is supposed to be the final PPS signing. So, <coughs> And this will uh, definitely, you know, help the IPP, the independent uh, our uh, producers, and also the state, mm -hmm. at the same time, and also the people of uh, the state. So, I would just you thank you once again for the time.